What's going on guys, this is Craig Tech360 and today we're going to talk about a variable air volume or a VAV box. Alright guys, first and foremost, I'm clicking on that video, make sure you like and subscribe, let's get into it. So I wanted to only talk about this because I've had a few people in the past with where I work, they've asked about them, uh, like, you know, what do they do, how do they operate, would they be good for my building, so forth and so on, for people that have asked about getting some and maybe inquired on getting some. So there are different brands of these and it's called a variable air volume, which is, means it's basically a box that controls the airflow into a space, okay? This is a very basic one. They come in different shapes and sizes. Some of them are round, some are square, some are bigger, some are smaller. They also have a fan power box, which is FPB or whatever, which is a fan power box, which usually has a heating element. Some of these, you can buy these as well with a heating element as well, but most of the ones that we have in my building do not have one. It's just for AC only. Now, basically what it does is you have a main trunk like a main air conditioner on that floor that just feeds air through one trunk, right? One one long trunk. And you've got multiple offices, okay, all the way down. And instead of just having this thing just dumping air all the time into these offices, you can have the main trunk, the line come off into one of these, and then into the office space to where you can get on your system and you can say, okay, like let's say, well, it's a little hot in this office. Can you adjust it, you know, a little cooler for us? All right, cool. You can get on your graphic, on your, on your, um, on your, um, your operating system that they set up for you. And you can click on that office. You can click on this box and say, okay, well the space, the office shows that it's 75 degrees. Let's bump it down to 73. Okay. So then what's going to happen once you do that, it's going to talk to the communicating board in here, which we'll open up and, and show you in a second. But what it's going to do is, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's a little tube where the main airflow comes in through here and this little damper will open up and it'll open up just a little bit just to let the air flow through, right? And depending on how much air you need at one time, we'll determine how much that thing opens at one time. So in a nutshell, that's basically all it does. It just controls the air into a space. Now, Different companies do offer this. Now we use Train. Um, now everybody knows Train's pretty expensive on anything, but you know stuff like this, you know, you kind of get what you pay for. There are multiple other companies, so I want you to take this cover off here, set that aside. So what you'll have is you have your data card and you have basically airflow sensors and your actuator motor for your damper. Now. Once, once everything gets set up and everything, you'll have uh, you'll have data that comes in and out uh, that talks to this unit. You'll have data that talks to all the, the sensors, the temperature sensors, which all connect in here as well. And what this does, is basically, once you say, "Hey, I need that to go to," you know, "I need that space to be 72 degrees," it's going to talk to this board, which is going to power to this board, which was going to actuate the little damper in here. So, what it'll do is like if it you know like let's say you know it's it's already it's already cold in there and they want it turned down all right you know it's it's a little too cold let's let's cut the air off so that's that's basically what it'll do it'll shut but now let's say okay it's 75 degrees and you want it 60 degrees in there okay well it's going to try to get to 60 degrees as fast as it can so what it's going to do it's going to slowly open that damper all the way up and it's going to let that all that air dump into that room until it starts getting closer to 60 and then it's going to slowly start backing off and it'll back off a little bit more now once it reaches temperature it'll it'll more like it'll shut quite a bit it probably won't close all the way just depending on how your minimums are set i'm not going to get into the settings because that can go on forever so but i mean if you don't want to have to deal with it and have to constantly, you know, manually, you know, jack with every air conditioner or something like that, VAV boxes are the way to go. I think they're, they're, they're easy to work on. Uh, honestly, they're pretty low maintenance. I don't even ever have to work on any of them. I think in the five years I've been at this building, this building was built in 2015. I think I've replaced maybe three cards total. And I think I placed, replaced one motor uh, on one in the five years I've been here. So, like I said, they don't really break down that much, and there's not a lot to them, you know. Um, but yeah, that's what they are, man. They're just it's just a simple it's just a simple way to control the airflow into a space, whether it be an office uh, or it could be you know you know just little interior spaces. Because usually, when you have an office building and you have a lot of offices on exterior windows, okay, most of those are going to have a fan power box or the VAV that has a heater uh, heating element in them as well. 
And the reason being because on those offices on the exterior, they're obviously going to take a lot of the elements from the outside. It's obviously going to, when it's hot outside, those offices are going to be really hot because they're close to the glass. When it's cold outside, those offices are going to be very cold because they're close to the glass. So naturally, how most offices are set up, all the exterior offices, which we call the windows, or all the offices that are up against the windows, those all have fan power boxes, which have uh, it's just an oversized one of these. Basically, it's real big. It lets a lot of air through at one time, and it feeds multiple offices. Instead of, instead of this one just feeding one space, you'll have a bigger one that, that can allow enough air to feed three or four offices and heat three or four offices. So those will have fan power boxes so they can heat and cool those offices. And usually the interior, more closer to the middle, the inside of the, uh, the building you get, you have these to at least cool the space. And usually the heat from the, the offices in the wintertime will heat the interior space, usually. I hope that kind of explains it to you what these do. Um, like I said, I, I didn't want to get too far in depth with it because like I said, explaining these things, we can go on and on and on. And I don't really want to do that because I don't want to bore you all that bad. I just want to give you guys kind of an kind of an idea of how the air conditioners work or if you're going to a building or to go to work at a building that has these and you'll kind of understand in a sense what they do like i said they're easy to work with um once you start getting into the technical side into the statuses and details and changing parameters and stuff it can it, it doesn't necessarily get tricky you just ha you just have to know um like the like the area that you're cooling like you know your square footage and stuff so you can kind of set your your cfms all your air volumes and stuff because you don't want to have one of these in an office and this thing just opens up and it's blowing papers off the desk you don't want to do that okay you, you want it to where it's, it's kind of a subtle change you don't want to just just air everywhere because that it is it's just it's not it's, it i don't know how to explain it it's just not good so you want a nice subtle ease up into into air into the room and subtle ease off you really don't want to know when it comes on you don't want to know when it goes off it's just it's kind of a subtle thing so that's basically what these are for like I said, there are several different sizes, all kinds of different uh, types and models of these. This isn't the only one. This is just one of many that we removed out of a space that we had built or had built out for another tenant. And we had about 12 of them that we didn't need. Um, so we got rid of a bunch of them. Yeah, don't worry about this. This is a this is a motor, actually a blower motor from Train, actually, out of a um, another fan cool unit, which uh, serves one of our restaurants. And that thing, I think, if I remember right, it was about $1,500 or $1,200. It's a hot dog motor. It's a variable speed, which is kind of, you can go down slow, and it, it, it's a smooth variable speed, so it's not like a medium and then you know, high or whatever, low, medium, high. It's a, it's, a, it's a very smooth, gradual, variable speed. Very expensive. But anyways, guys, that is it. I hope that kind of gives you an idea what a VAV or a variable airflow volume box is. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. Don't argue, don't fight. Until next time, guys.